Welcome to episode one of Regen Rovers Revelations. This is a side series alongside the main series of Regen Rovers. If you missed episode one of the main series, it was released yesterday. So go and check that out first uh, because the Revelation series is just like an in-depth behind the scenes type series where I will show you different things to do with the save, but I don't put in the main series i suppose that's the best way to explain it so for example today episode one is all about the database that i use and how i created the club on the editor because but prior to the series starting this was the question that was asked of me the most how am i creating the club i'm not using the creating create the club creator club spit my words out i'm not using the creator club feature this time around like i did on fm17 i have created the club on the actual full proper version of the editor. So let's jump into it. So I just thought I'd quickly show you where the editor is for those of you that have no idea. You just need to open up Steam, click on library, click here, go to tools, and you can find it here. You'll need to install it, and then you can just right click and press play game. So here is the database. I'm gonna show you how to create your own club. A few people have been asking me if I can upload the Region Rose database, and I kind of, I have kind of said yes. But I'm in two minds as to whether to do it yet, because if I upload it, there's going to be a lot of people that may want to play with Regen Rovers, and they'll be able to play a lot faster than me, because remember, I'm making a, a YouTube series, which slows me down, and you'll probably be five seasons ahead of me, and you'll be saying, look, I've won the Premier League of Regen Rovers, blah, blah, blah. Of course, there'll be different players on your game. The regions will be completely different. So that's why perhaps I, I, it doesn't really matter if I upload it, and you might get a really good batch of players compared to me. So that you can't really compare them. I suppose Regen Rovers is just a shell of a club at the end of the day. So perhaps let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you really, really want the Regen Rovers database, or would you prefer to maybe create your own club Show, uh, basically from what I show you today I'd just like to I'd just like to have some feedback really before I go and upload it and everyone can play with it I'm just a little bit worried it would detract from the series if there's people out there winning the Champions League when I'm still stuck in the seventh tier of English football anyway the first thing you really need to do I always do this is press load database I don't know if you need to do that but I always tend to do that just to load the the football manager database and then what I did to create region rovers was simply click on clubs click on add and then typed in all the details, region, rovers, etc. Nickname, the younglings, hashtag, I put hashtag C-O-Y-Y, come on you younglings. Obviously, I don't want it in Algeria, so you select the, tip, the, ba the, the nation you want it to be in, etc. But I will load what I did, so I can show you exactly what I did. So I'm just going to load the editor data. So yes, let's load the region rovers final database. So if I then do a search, so you can use this filter to search for things. So if you want to, to maybe replace a club or delete a club or remove a club from a particular league, you can use the search function. So regen rovers, here we are. So you can see based in Winchester, semi-professional reputation 1500, which is the lowest, the joint lowest for the league. So here is regen rovers and it's in all its glory on the editor. So Region Rovers got the foreground color of the gold. I typed in from my Photoshop, I just typed in the, the red, green, and blue figures there to get the, the exact gold color I wanted. And then the background color of just black. Uh, founded 2016, of course, because that's when Jack Young came from the parallel universe to this universe and created the club once again. Now with reputation, what I did was, I just looked at, a sim at the, the league that we were in so if you go to competitions, and I looked for the Southern Premier, like so, and we're in the English Southern Premier South. It's a bit confusing this year, because I think I don't know if it was this year that these two divisions were formed, but it's very recently anyway. Previously, it was just the Southern League Premier Division, I think, and you can see it's an extinct league. But we're in this particular one, and then I clicked on Teams, and I just sorted by reputation. So the highest reputa reputation teams have 2,250. Now, this is a score out of 10... Uh, yeah, 10,000, sorry, which is the most, it's kind of the most important thing in football manager. It determines how good a club is overall. So Man City, for example, have the highest reputation in the English Premier League at the moment. Kind of means that they're probably the most likely team to win the Premier League as a result. But you can see here, we're the joint worst with Wimborne with 1,500. And that's why I went for it, because it was the lowest. I want to give us a challenge. So that's the reason why I gave us the joint lowest reputation. Now, if you click here, you can go back to sort of things that you've selected previously. So that just skips back to region rovers. That's a handy tip. Now, for reserve teams, you don't have to do this. I, I actually didn't realize until making the database that you don't actually have to put in the under 23s team. 
because th this is almost like a Barcelona B team system. Regen Rovers doesn't have a B team. It will automatically create the under 23s and under 18s for us. Now, ownership. This is where you might want to do different things, I suppose. Uh, I've gone for a limited liability company. I wasn't, I, I did have a look on FM Base. There was a bit of something from 2011 talking about all the ownership types. So I've gone for normal chairman. That's what we tend to have in England, limited liability company. But you could go for something else when you're creating your club, of course. You could even say it will remain, you know, it's a fan owned company, uh, cl club, sorry, and it will always remain fan owned. So that's an option. Now, with the stadium, you have to create the stadium separately. So go back to database, and then I clicked on stadiums, and added, and did the, the whole thing. I mean, I'll just show you. You do the stadium name, uh, you select the city where it is. So I selected Winchester, selected the owner as Regen Rovers, I believe. And you can do various things like choose the capacity, choose the seating capacity. So with the capacity, I chose 5,000 and seating capacity of 300. So it's a non-league ground. It's mainly unseated. But I selected the same capacity as the Winchester City ground, which is 5,000. I think it was about the same seating capacity as well. So that's what I went for in terms of... Uh, minimum and maximum pitch length you might want to go for the maximum and then of course your groundsman will ask you what size you want for the season i've also gone for synthetic new type soft grass rather than regular grass because it seems that a lot like a lot of non-league clubs clubs have that someone did say i should go for gravel clay or sand but i thought that might lead to a lot of injuries so i decided not to do that in the end sorry but anyway if once you've created your stadium you then just need to select it so whatever you've called it you search for plumbing pop i don't know if this is what people expected from this video do people, did people want me to show you how exactly I made this? I think people did. So this is episode one of Regen Rovers Revelations. The future episodes might be completely different. They won't necessarily be a tutorial. I think episode two, I'm going to go through every single player in a bit of detail, at, you know, the first season um, team, and uh, show you all the players in a little bit more detail than I do in the regular episodes. So that's, they're going to vary. So... This also determines your facilities. So I went for really bad training, youth coaching, youth facilities and corporate facilities because we're a non-league team. We, we don't need all of that. We don't need good training. We, I, don't, I want to make it as hard as possible for us. I want us to build from this base, I suppose. Even though we're really focusing on the youth, youth importance 20, I didn't want to give us amazing youth facilities and coaching to start with. Because I think that's wrong. We need to start off low. However, youth recruitment, I've given us very high. So that should mean, I think we'll go far and wide to look for players. Which, I'm, I'm slightly worried this might be too good. However, it's compensating for the fact that in Series 1, we didn't have a single player come through the Youth Academy that played about more than, I think it was 20 games was the maximum. Maybe a bit more. But after the National League, we didn't have a single player come through our youth academy and actually play for the first team. It was just dreadful. And even after however many years playing that save, we could not improve the youth recruitment facilities, coaching. These things just didn't improve. The club never spent any money on these things. I think they eventually spent money on the training facilities. And even then it was below average and we were in the Premier League. So I'm kind of compensating for that fact that first season it was awful. And I want youth to be an important part of this team. I want us to produce some players, some heroes that we can get behind, some local heroes from Winchester, possibly. So that, that's that's what I've gone for. Now, financially, this is where I was really unsure what to do. So I've gone for a £1,000 balance. It ended up giving us a bit more money than that, actually, when I started the save. I don't know why it did that. Uh, but you can see here, £1,000 transfer budget, £1, because I just don't want any transfer budget in the first season. Now... With the sugar daddy, I decided to go for none. Jack Young is the chairman. He's the owner, of course. However, I didn't want us to be mega rich. I don't want us to be like Billa Rookie and tr just shooting up the leagues because of the money we have. I want it to be more organic. The players that we produce ourselves, the players that we sign, rather than just spending tons of money on the best regens out there and trying to convince League Two quality youngsters to come to us and play for us because we have money so that's why i've not made us a sugar daddy or well, jack young a sugar daddy although he does have money i'm not really sure how much money he has because i don't know where you select that i don't think there's an option to do that so that's what we've gone with finances i've not done anything else for income that will just develop over time hopefully now competitions this is the most important thing i guess i put us in the english southern league premier south now the reason why i have this level of football is because I used 
a download from the Steam Workshop. If you don't know where the Steam Workshop is, just go to Football Manager 2019 in your library, click on Browse the Workshop, and then League and Data Updates. Now, I there's 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 various ones. For example, this one has the English nine tiers with with no Brexit. I didn't download that one. I'll put a link to the one I downloaded in the description below. But be warned, the goal difference rules are not fixed. I had to do that myself because these things take a lot of time. These are databases that people have somehow, I guess, spent you know all a Friday night, maybe Saturday, making and unlocking and making sure it's as close as possible to what it's meant to be and then uploaded it. There are people out there that do really, really top quality databases. I didn't need down to 12th tier. I wanted to play in the 7th tier. I've loaded, I've got available down to the 9th tier, but I've loaded from the 8th tier up. We can unlock the 9th tier during the save if need be. Like if we get relegated to the 8th tier, I would unlock the 9th tier next year. Yeah, I didn't need a super duper database. So I've edited the goal difference rules because Previously, I, I mean, I tested the database all weekend. I was holidaying into the future, checking things, making sure it worked fine. And I realized that teams were just being randomly assigned a position if they finished on the same number of points because there was no goal difference rules. There was no goal scored rules. Um, so I, I've included them myself. I kind of wish I'd saved the database after that point because I could have then uploaded it for you guys. But I didn't, so sorry. But there are options and they might be fixed now. And you can find these sorts of things on FM Scout, FM Base. Sort it out SI. There's various places you can find them and there'll be some better ones coming out soon. So you might want to wait until like a 12, 12 tier one has been released. I'll put a link to the FM editor, someone on Twitter who makes, I need to remember to put these links in the, the description below, but he makes databases. So his is gonna be coming out at some point and his is probably the best one out there, but I couldn't wait. I needed, I needed to do this. I wanted to release region rovers. So I've kind of done it myself. And of course I made us go into the, after all that r ramble, sorry, uh, we're in the English Southern League, Premier South, the seventh tier of English football. Didn't bother with regional divisions or start immediate expectations. It's put us at the bottom anyway, because of how poor we are. Now, support a profile. This is you guys. I decided you're a loyal bunch. You're passionate. You're patient. Now, I've gone for affluent because Winchester is a city that is, is very affluent. It's the most expensive place to live outside of London in England. I've seen that those statistics recently. It's extremely expensive to live. I wish I could live in Winchester, but it's just way too expensive. Like If you want to live central Winchester in a three-bedroom, old-fashioned terraced house, you know, it's between half a million to 600 grand for just a three bedroom terraced house, like in the middle of the city. Obviously if you're on the edge of the city, it's a bit cheaper, but yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy expensive. So that's what we've gone for. I've not made you want it, you know, I've not, I've just left these two in the middle. Temperament, you know, you might be a bit angry sometimes, I suppose. I don't, although patience and temperament, I don't really know. I don't know if this means you're gonna, you're gonna beat up some rival fans or something if, if you've got it on one, I'm not entirely sure. And expectations, I presume, is what you expect of me. So if you had, if, if there was 20, you'd expect me to win the league every year. But I've gone for a middle range thing there. Left that alone. Now, kits and colours, this is where you can have fun. Just play around with what you want to do. So uh, this is the icon. I think if you, you're playing on 2D, you know, the little circle, I believe. Not 100% sure, to be honest. But the, the main three things you want to focus on are the, the shirt, of course, the, the, the socks and... And the shorts. Bloody hell, someone started digging up the road outside. That's just frustrating, isn't it? Hopefully it's not too loud. Hopefully not. Anyway, uh, the away kit. So we went for that option, of course. This was all voted by you guys as to what the kits would be. You can buy these shirts on Tribe Fire. I've been informed that my ones are being sent. They're in the post. They're going to be arriving mid-November. So if anyone bought them on like the first two days, first few days of me putting these up, they should be arriving soon. They take four to six weeks to arrive. So if you buy one now, you might get it in time for Christmas. I'd hope so anyway. And the third kit, of course, was designed. Oh, what's your name? I've forgotten your name. But you won a copy of FM19 for designing this home kit. The, the goalkeeper kit I just made up. I went for an all gold look. We went for an all, a black look with a sash down the other side, but with a, a gold sash. And the third shirt, bit of a check look. Light green with white. So alluding to the, the old series, of course. So staff members. Jack Young is chairman. I have no idea if current ability and potential ability plays a part is at, in the chairman side of things, but I decided to give him a really good current ability. I want him to be a perfect chairman, essentially. We, we need, I don't want him to leave. I've made him incredibly loyal and he loves the club. I just, I really don't want him to leave, Region Rovers. 
he might do at some point, he might sell the club. And if he does, I hope he sells it to a really rich person later on when we're in the Premier League or something. But I want to be with him. I want him to be with us on the journey. So I, I've kind of tried to make him as good a chairman as possible just so that he stays and he helps me out. He improves the, the facilities when required. Uh, Spencer Drury, likewise, really good managing director. Dr. Jones, chief doctor, currently current, current ability of 100. He's got potential of 200. Like I said, he's a child genius in episode one. And because uh, he's, he's literally like born in 1999 or something. So he's what, 18, 19 at this point in time. <laughs> and he's the chief doctor of a football club. And lastly, Lisa Zealous. Those are the four legends I decided to include on the board. And he's just a regular director. And then there's you guys, which I've just left blank. So it's just going to be random, really, as to how good these guys are, I think. I assume this has some sort of impact, but I don't know. But yeah, my top patrons prior to the series have uh, had a place on the board as either an owner with Jack Young or as a director. So we'll see how that works. I don't know if some of them might just leave over time or they'd all leave at the same time. I, I really don't know how it works. But we'll find out, won't we? And all these other things I've left blank. Apart from the other staff, we've got Dr. Jones as a... Why has he got? Why is he twice? We do, he's, he's duplicated himself. I don't actually know how that's happened. There's not two of him on the game, that's for sure. But <laughs> that's weird. Anyway, doesn't really matter. And all these others are left blank because we've got regens. Remember, I've not created these players on the game. We're letting the game create them itself. Just before I move on, you're probably wondering how you actually create Jack Young, for example, create a chairman, create playing staff or non-playing staff or players. What you need to do is you go back to database, click on people here and you press add. So if you do want to create players, they won't be regens. They'll be players that you've created yourself uh, rather than the game regenerating things automatically. But you can create players. But what I did was I clicked on non-player, uh, typed in the name. So you typed in Jack Young, etc. You know, make sure it's a non-player. You, I, I you can create journalists, you can create agents, you can create officials, referees and that sort of thing, retired players. Uh, so much different stuff here and then obviously put in if you want to put in ethnicity hair color date of birth city of birth etc there's so many different things that you can do and create their history if you want so international caps i did give jack young seven england caps because that's how many he had before he transferred to this universe uh, you don't actually need to fill this in uh, the, the club contract because we selected that from the regenerator's main page and pulled them into the board of course uh, but person data, you know, if you're creating a manager or someone like that, you'll want to make sure their job preferences are high depending on which uh, job they they want, their attributes. I'm not 100% sure what everything means, but most of it speaks for itself, really. There's so much. There's so much you can do. I'm not going to go into detail about this because this is, video is mainly about creating the club. But obviously, this is what I used to, to, do, to create Jack Young and set his current ability at 200, for example. One thing I did make sure I had was 200 board confidence and 200 fan confidence, which is the maximum for Jack Young. So the fans will always love Jack Young, hopefully. Well, I imagine they will, because it's set to 200. And the board, I guess his board of directors will also have confidence in him as the chairman. I presume that's what, what I've done by selecting 200 anyway. We'll find out over time. So that's how you create a person on the game. But, every, I mean, everything is kind of obvious. You just need to put in, like, for Jack Young, I put his favourite people as Spencer Jury, Lisa Zellis, and Dr. Jones, the other people that I created. Favourite clubs, Regen Rovers, dislike clubs. I put Ebbsfleet, and did I put Paul? I think I just put Ebbsfleet, actually. Relationships. Now, this is where it's interesting, because I made Winchester a local rival of a hun like the 100 level, so top level, because they're sad that they've got a rival team in the city now, I suppose, and have been placed in the division above them. Ebbsfleet, for historic reasons. Same with Paul Town because we uh, replaced them in the first series. And this time around, Hartley Wintney, we replaced them. They've gone down to the ninth tier. I actually put them in the ninth tier, if I just show you. I think this works because I did Holiday into the future and they did get promoted a few times. So they did, they did revive. I didn't actually have a, any player. I didn't play around with their finances. That's just the backstory. They had financial difficulties. They've been relegated twice. They've recovered now and they're okay, but they are playing at a lower level. I think they've actually, they actually won promotion in real life last year, but they've, instead they've been relegated. So it's a bit unfortunate for them, but I had to pick a team to replace. That's just the way it had to be. Favorite people, I basically chose our board because they used to be players in the parallel universe. Uh, disliked people, now this, you don't, I didn't show this in the first episode. I've created Dion Mills and Alfie Doddington, who at the start of the series, the first series, were actually popular players. 
But remember, Alfie Doddington left one and a half seasons through for a team below the National League South, refused to sign a new contract with us, was grumpy, and he left. So I've decided that we don't like him. Same with Dion Mills, because he just got into so much trouble. It was a bad boy. It was a bad boy. So he's he's kind of a player we don't like. And Alfie Doddington is an agent. So we'll have to see if he comes around at some point and uh, causes problems for us. Because I have made him, you know, I was dislike him. And he's a horrible agent as well. What did I do? Agent data. Patience one. He's really, he's quite good at business. But, you know, he's not going to be very nice. Um, he's going to tout clients as well, I think. What else did I do? Ambition 20, controversy 20. So I've made it quite interesting. So there's a little bit of a backstory there. How do I get back to where I was? Here we go. And Dion Mills is a journalist who also isn't a very nice journalist. Ambition 20, 20, controversy as well. And a sensationalist writer. He's not honest. And he's very curious. He's ill-tempered. He's dishonest. He's he's cunning. I wonder if he comes along at some point. He's not got. They've both not got jobs, but they, but they might eventually, I suppose. Club legends. We went for Jack Young, Spencer Drury, Doctor James, and Lisa Zellis in that order, of course. Uh, I did actually select club icons, but for whatever reason, it stuck them in the favoured personnel list, and I don't know why. It might be because I haven't created them, but it should just have. They should have appeared in the the icons list but they appeared in the favored personnel which is i don't know why that happened it's really annoying oh by the way club legends jack young i have said we can name a stadium after him it doesn't necessarily mean he definitely will in the future but it possibly might and of course he is actually selected as that chairman so if he's a really good chairman possibly if we build a new stadium in the future it might uh, might work out for us i did actually forget to say that with the stadium i've given us a potential expansion capacity of 25,000 because it will enable us if we do get promoted a couple of times we if we get promoted to the top flight we can play in that stadium if need be because if we have to build a new stadium before then because of having too small a stadium uh, it's gonna cost a hell of a lot of money so I thought if we can expand it to 25,000 that's perfect if in 20 years time we need to build a new stadium because we've got so many fans then that's great we'll be in the position to be able to do that and I think I left everything else the same I didn't give us any current affiliations I asked my patrons if I should be affiliated with Eastleigh, Southampton and Portsmouth they said not for now just let the game decide over time so that's what we're going to do all of these have been left blank because we don't have any history in this particular universe anyway so that's how I created Regen Rovers you can probably hopefully do the same now by just following all those steps that I've done and then the team is on the game. But you will have to remember, if you do replace a team, for example, if you replace a team in the Premier League, you're going to have to remove one. So what you'll need to do is go to competitions, go to Premier League, England, press edit. You'll see the teams. And then you just need to select it and press remove. So you re remove Huddersfield and then you press add. Search for your club that you created and add them. That's what you'll need to do. So if you just want to do that in the top six divisions, you don't actually need to download an extra database. You'll just do it on the vanilla database, create region rovers, create your club, whatever you want to call it, Frangie Pan Athletic, whatever, and stick them in the division you want them to be in. And then you can play the game. I'd quickly show you, because some people don't know how to do this, how to actually select the database when you start a new save. It's relatively simple really. You just need to click on career like normal, but in the top right hand corner here, there's a little drop down thing. And you need to make sure your file that you've created, your database is, se is selected here. I've got to say, you have to obviously save the database once you've made all those changes. Should have showed that really. Just go to file, press save data as if it's a new one and just name it basically. And then, then it will appear here like so. And you just select it, press confirm, and just set the database up as you usually would. You could go to advanced setup and add in a few more nations if you want to. I didn't really add many. I'll show you the leagues that I added. I maybe should have added more because I'm actually really struggling to find players uh, to buy, to, to sign. Now, I, I so what I did was I got rid of these two and then loaded all the way down to this level here. I can unlock this one, like I said, if need be, county leagues and above, but I've just gone for the regional first divisions and above for now. Of course, I've got the, the Steam Workshop file. That's how I can see these. Normally, you can only see the north, south, and above. Now, I have done the whole disable polite attribute masking. But the simple fact that it's a tough enough challenge as on it, as it is already, with the fact that I can only sign regens, I know some people will say, oh, it gives you an advantage. It does give you an advantage because you can see all the attributes without having to scout properly. But you still have to manually go through and look at every single player, which takes time, of course. Uh, but I'm probably going to have a rule where I can only look at players that my scout suggests or... 
clubs in my division and area so I can you know theoretically I could go to that club and watch them myself we might have that sort of rule in there I don't know but this is the key one you definitely need to select this add players to playables teams if you want to have regens included at the start of the game in in the various teams that you've you've chosen the, the leagues that you've loaded and I've also unticked do not add key stuff because we want I wanted to have an assistant manager join the club straight away without me having to go and look for one so all the key staff that's why we had uh, an assistant manager a head physio a chief scout uh, of course they're all regens but I needed that um, at the start of the save so that's why I unticked that and then for this if you go to advanced what I selected um, I made sure that I had all players of nationality from the UK and Ireland I didn't really need to select this as well I'd already selected this by the time I thought I'll just select the region but if you do this every single player from the UK and Ireland will be loaded into the game I've made sure every single player in each division is as well so not just of the nationality I've made sure every single player in the, these leagues are on my save of course that would be real life players now I did choose USA as well players of nationality simply because there's a lot of you guys from the US that watch me of course there's loads of people that watch from elsewhere as well but I wanted those players loaded uh, I didn't load the league though so I won't be able to sign any regens yet I'm only going to be able to find regions in England, I think, at this stage. But over time, we'll be able to find regions elsewhere. And I might put some other leagues in as well, just so we can see um, see a few things. But also be able to find regions in other countries a bit easier. But that's what we went for. I don't want to load too much, because I don't want the game to slow down too much, really. But there's 37,000 players in this. That's quite a lot of players. And then you just start the game. It started on the 2nd of July 2018. So that's what I did for episode 1 of Regen Rovers. I hope you enjoyed the first episode. I hope, Hopefully this was helpful. And I had a few little background bits in here as well. Other than just showing you exactly what I did and how to, to create the club. But people wanted this. People wanted to know how I did it. So this is how I did it. You can obviously do things. You can edit things to your heart content, heart's content. However, I am, I guess I am willing to upload the database, but I would just like some feedback from you guys as to, I, I'm just, I, I'm reluctant because I'm worried that loads of people play into the future and it might just detract from the series. I hope you get where I'm coming from there. It would be nice if you created your own region, Rovers, or, or named it something different. I know the players will be different, the, all the regions, all the you'll be a different manager. It's just the details around it. So I guess perhaps it doesn't matter. Maybe I'm just worrying a bit too much. It, I guess in the grand scheme of things, it really doesn't matter. But let me know if you want my database uploaded. If a loads of people say, then I'll do it. Of course I will. But that's it for today. Thank you for watching this video. Until next time. Oh, I've got to say, episode two will hopefully be out tomorrow. So sorry it's not out today, but episode two, our first proper league game of the, the save of the series against Weymouth will be played tomorrow in episode two. But thank you for watching. Until next time, enjoy Football Manager 2019. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you very soon.